Hello everybody, I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be putting together my Toro 24 inch snowblower. Um, this is the 824, I believe. Um, and the way that I can tell that is it's the 800 motor, I believe. And then it has the 24 inch opening on it. Um, there's an 826, which would have a 26 inch um, shoot thing. There's an 828 and I think an 830, I'm not 100% sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this together for you guys. Uh, I'm gonna do the best I can to show you how to do it, but there should be instructions in here. I've never actually done this, so. Open her up. And there's a bunch of stuff. It's about 200 and something pounds. I think it's 250-ish. Um, me and the guys on depot, whatever we loaded in, so it's not too heavy. Um, down here we got a couple things. There they are. Got the instructions here. A couple bolts. Price for the product. Let's just go ahead and get out of all the unnecessary stuff in there. So, I'm going to get everything out of the box and kind of laid out here, um, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I didn't get everything out. So, what I did is I came to the back end. Here's where all the snow comes in in the chute. Came to the back side, knocked out the box. So, what we're going to do is we're going to lift this up all the way. Find the corresponding bolts that go into here and here in that bag that I just showed you. We'll tighten them and then we'll pull it out. We should be able to pull, out, pull it out of the box from there. Okay, so now we got those in there. We're going to tighten them up. It's a half inch socket. Next, we need to put all of this together. Um, so pretty much what we're going to do is this bad boy here is going to slide down in here and then you have the bottom of this sit on top of there. I'll show you the instructions real quick. So that's pretty much what you got. You got these two bad boys here with these two right there and they will hold that piece into the um, square tubing. So if we're gonna do that real quick. Okay, I'm gonna try and record this the best I can. Off. Double wrap around here. It's sticky on one side, so get it off. Like that. So now this piece should. Oh, it doesn't actually slide in. It just slides over top. Let's grab the bolts with the nuts. It doesn't say which side goes on to. Not that it really matters. So, oh, yes it does. It does matter because these are carriage bolts. This side over here is the square portion. There we go. That's one. So far, everything has been a locking nut, which is good. So it can't vibrate off in the middle of snowing. Let's see if it's a half inch. It's not a half inch, so it's probably going to be a 7 16 or maybe even a 3 8 It is a 7 16 Okay, so that should be everything. So it looks like that is the only thing, those two bolts are the only thing that holds this auger piece on. It, this section here doesn't actually get bolted anywhere to the chute. Um, 
so that's pretty cool. Okay, next step. Okay, so the next step is going to be to be connecting the drive motor. Okay, so it looks like you gotta put it back in reverse two, or R2, which is all the way down. So we got it back down, all the way down. Then we're going to take um, this side right here. Not There's two sides to it. There's a threaded side and then a non-threaded side. Um, we're gonna take the non-threaded side down and hook it up to the bottom here, which is right here. I'm gonna run it through there. So let's do that real quick. And then you're actually gonna run it up to the top. That camera, there we go. that out so it should be something like this here I'm trying to see the best way to run it it's probably gonna be right here because it's gonna be run to there um, I'm gonna run it in behind here probably it's probably in behind all this I can always switch it then you have the washer there, and then you take the pin, if you can actually get that, there we go, perfect. And then, according to the instructions, you then put it in the highest gear, that highest gear all the way up, which then should move this. There's a hole right there. That's where it's going to be attached to. Um, so you can move this bad boy up and down to line it up. It should be pretty close. You shouldn't actually have to adjust it. Um, but it, then it's the same process. You put it in, plastic washer, and behind, and then you're good to go. But there's actually two plastic washers for this one, so you have a plastic washer on either side. Okay, next step we got is to hook this thing up to actually be able to control the auger here. So as of right now, we cannot move it side to side, but we can move it up and down. Um, so it involves this bad boy right here and actually going into there. So we are, let's take a look here. Um, so you throw in the piece that doesn't have any holes. There's two different sides. One has two sets of holes, the other one doesn't have any that in there and it's gonna you're gonna feel it go in it's not attached to anything at all in there um, and then we take our that. then we take two of our bolts here and attach them through these two and then the third one there's actually actually let me take that off there's a loop thing in here to hold this cable up and out of the way Okay, so we got that all good to go. Um, this one here is just screwed onto here or bolted onto here to keep it off the muffler. Next, what we need to do is you got one right here. Um, it's got a little loop through it. Should be this bolt right here because this one came this way. So what I need to do is grab a wrench. And you'll put it on, it'll keep it out of the way of the tire. Okay, so we got that in. We were able to get a short socket in there to be able to tighten that down. But that pretty much, let's take a look at the directions one more time. Okay, so you have this little shovel thing that's there. I think it's already in the right spot. I think this here is gonna clean out the auger for you. Oh, um, so it looks like it just slides down in there. Well, you gotta get it on this side first. Get on that side of the bar, Put it up. Slide it down in there. Snap it on just so it's inside and it's sturdy everywhere. Um, but other than taking off the rest of the plastic, which is just this here. Now, you should be able to get more of those stick plates um, elsewhere. You just have to pay attention when you're going on stuff that you're not actually collecting or the concrete isn't rubbing there. Um, I'm actually going to probably adjust those 
up because I'm doing a place that have rocks. Um, probably just so it's about a half an inch. Um, maybe I'll adjust them right in the middle of them because I don't want to be collecting up rocks or anything like that. But that should be it except for oil and stuff like that. But the one thing that really pointed me towards tor Toro for something like this is this bad boy right here. I mean, you only have to use one hand and you can control anywhere it goes where everywhere else was, there's two different levels. Um, so this one here controls the, this side here controls the auger and this side controls the movement of it. But yeah, let me read here. Just make sure we're not missing anything. Um, no, I think we're just putting oil in it. 5W30 oil. It didn't actually come with any, which is kind of surprising to me. Usually something like this would come with it, unless it's already on the inside. Oh yeah, it already came somewhere about halfway up, which is good. Um, but it does take 5W30. So, since it comes with oil already in it, I think I'm going to start it up for you guys. Um, more for me than you, but just make sure we did everything right. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this bad boy started here. I'm going to move it out here to the edge real quick, just so it's not putting all that exhaust in the trailer here. there. Bring this over here. Somewhere. Yeah, let's just bring it here. -ish. Okay, so we want to put some fuel in it. I got the no ethanol rec 90. It's not mixed gas. It should be good enough. Didn't want to completely fill it just because who knows when snow is going to be coming this year. So it has starting instructions back here. So bring the choke all the way in. Choke all the way in. Press the primer ball three times. Here's the key. Make sure the key's in. Press the primer ball three times. I pressed it four. Oh well. And then it's a full start. It's not a. Okay, now we got it running. You just gotta follow the instructions. That there turns on, turns on and off the fuel. Oh, yeah. 